Ciao friends! In this video, I want to talk about data lineage in DAX. Data lineage is an important concept in DAX, and it is so beautifully implemented that most developers use data lineage without even knowing it exists. The thing is, if you want to go to the next level and be able to write a really powerful DAX code, you need to understand the data lineage, how, what data lineage is, how to maintain it, and what to do in case data lineage, for whatever reason, is not what you need. That's why in this video I'm going to first introduce the concept of data lineage and then we will see practical examples of how to use data lineage. I will not be able to cover all the details about data lineage. If you are interested in these kind of topics, first make sure to subscribe to our channel and then go to the sqlbi.com website. There you will find that the article related to this video that goes much deeper with further details and further examples of usage of data lineage. With all that said, let's go straight to the demo. In order to show you data lineage, I'm not going to use Power BI. At the beginning, we just use DAX Studio because I want to show you the result of some queries. Let's say, for example, that I create a simple query that evaluates the values of product brand. That's a bit too large. OK. I run the query and here is the result. Exactly as you would expect, I have the values of the product brand. Now, the important thing is that uh, these values are not just strings, they are not just descriptions of brands, they are actually brands. The difference between a string and a brand is that a string by itself cannot filter the model. A brand, on the other hand, is able to filter the model. And we can see that if I add, if I change this query and I add, I use add columns around it to compute another column, another column, let's call it amount, which is sales amount. Format the code, that does not work, why? Okay. Format the code again. If I run it, you see that I have different brands and different amounts. For each brand, the value of amount is the sales amount for that given brand. The reason is, values does not return only Contoso as a string, but it returns Contoso as a brand. Therefore, it is able to apply a filter. I can manipulate the result of a, of a table function uh, uh, to see if and when data lineage is kept. So, for example, I can create a variable that I call brands, where I just store the result of the brand. And then in the return part, instead of uh, iterating, over at, iterating over values, I iterate over my variable. If I run the query now, you see no, nothing changes, because storing the result of a table function in a variable does not break the lineage. What if I apply further calculations? For example, I might be interested in getting rid of Contoso. So I can create a new variable, brands no Contoso where I use filter over brands, where the product brand, product brand is different than Contoso. Now brands no Contoso is the result of another table function which is running on top of a variable. The question is whether data lineage will be maintained or not. I use brands no Contoso here, I run it, and you see that Contoso is no longer here, but still the values are correctly filtered, so data lineage is still maintained. What if I change the name of uh, uh, the column? Instead of using filter, I can use another variable, let's brands new name, where I use select columns, select columns from brands, my new brand name, which is product brand. Product brand. OK. Now I have a new variable, brand's new name. I can use this variable here, run the query, and now you see the column name is different, but still the filtering is happening. So even though I renamed the column, the lineage is maintained and my column is still able to filter. What if I 
do something different. Instead of just renaming the column, I use an if statement. Before I removed Contoso, I want to remove Contoso again. So if Contoso, if it's Contoso, then we write no Contoso. Otherwise, the product brand. Let's format the code and reduce the font a bit. Okay, nah, too much. That way is better. So I renamed the column, but most important, now I use this complex expression. So the result will not contain Contoso. Instead of Contoso, it will contain the string no Contoso. Let's run it and look at the result. Now you see what happens. My new brand name is no longer able to filter the model. I see no Contoso, but the amount is showing the grand total. The reason is I broke the data lineage. If you keep data lineage, until you keep data lineage, the filtering still happens the right way. But if you use expressions or you use calculations on top of columns, then the engine is no longer able to understand from which column your expression comes from and data lineage at that point is broken. Now, what to do if you want to restore the original data lineage? There is a function that does it, which is treat as. Right now, brand's new name is not able to filter the model, and you see it here. But what if I want to restore the data lineage? I can use the treat as function. Let's call brand's new name uh, correct lineage. Treat as requires you to specify treat, a treat as lets you change the data lineage of a table. So we have a table with one column only. That is the reason why we need to provide the type of the only column which is contained in our table. We want to change the data lineage of brand's new name and force it to be a product brand. So Tritas changes the data lineage of brand's new name with a new data with the original data lineage, which is that of a product brand. Now let's go for our variable brand's new name correct lineage. Now focus on this row. Right now I'm showing no contoso and I'm showing the grand total everywhere. If I run the query now, look what happens. I no longer see contoso, I no longer see no contoso, but I see a correct value for the amount. This is what Tritas does. Tritas restores the data lineage of uh, a table, but while doing that, it might ignore rows if the value contained in that row does not represent a valid product brand. So, as you have seen, you can uh, keep data lineage as long as you reference columns and use basic table functions. But if you start using expression, data lineage might be broken because an expression cannot be tied to a column in the model. If that happens and you need to restore data lineage, you have the option of using Tritas in order to restore the original lineage. Now, let's take a look at a practical example where Tritas and data lineage are important for the performance of a formula. To do that, we need to go to Power BI. I have this report where I'm showing the brand, the sales amount, and then I have a measure, first day sales. First day sales computes the sales for only the first day when a product was sold. So a product starts selling on a given date and then for a long period has sales, but I'm interested only in the first day. To do that, first day sales iterates over the product, computes for that product at the first sale ever, and then computes at the sales amount only in that day. The filter on date data forces the date to be only the first one. Uh, and some X iterates over product, so this calculate through context transition computes the sales of that product in that day only. The numbers are fine, and you can see the result here shows some values which are the, the, the sales only in the first day. The problem of this formula are performance. Because uh, some X iterates over product, let's say we have 1 million products, 
and then for each product we need to compute the first sale and then it then scan the sales table in order to compute the value that iteration that iteration over product is running once per product so if you have uh, well 1 million was probably too much but 100,000 rows then this can be a hundred thousand iteration and for a hundred thousand times i need to compute sales amount if you have a hundred million rows in sales that means that the complexity of this calculation is a hundred thousand a hundred million quite a large number what we want to do is find a different way of uh, computing the same expression what if uh, instead of uh, computing the value this way we apply, we first compute a table containing the product key, the first date, and we, we use this table as a filter. That will reduce complexity by a lot. And it's actually easier if we try to do that together. Let's go back to Duck Studio. Let me remove everything. What I want to obtain is a table that contains the product and the first sale. So I just run Evaluate. I can use Summarize. I summarize sales by product, by product, product key. And if I run these, I get only the product keys. That is fine. I now have the product keys. I also want the first sale. So I can add the column, add columns to this result and I create a variable, a new column, first sale, which is calculate mean, a calculate mean of sales order date. Okay. Mean, probably there is a space here. Okay. So now I have a table that contains the product and for each product, the first sale when that happened. I can use this as a filter in Calculate so that in one step, I will be able to filter both the product key and the date. So I can store this in a variable. Let's call it products and first sale, first date. Okay, I'm just fixing the syntax. Now I'm using a variable just to be able to format it. Now I have uh, this number and uh, I can use that as a filter. So I can create a measure. Well, I can, yeah, I can create a measure. No, I need to do that in add columns. So let's write a query. Add columns to the values of product brand. And I want the first sale date, which is calculate. I actually need to take this. Yeah, actually, it's easier to do a variable. Let's go for define to do a measure. Define measure sales first sale date where I define my variable and then I use here return calculate sales amount and I use my product and first date measure. So here I can reference my first sale date measure. Let's check that I wrote it correctly. I did not. So where is my problem? Define measure. Ah, uh, that need to be evaluated. Okay. I want this and I don't need all this space. So let's review the code. 
product and first date will contain my table that contains the product key and the first sale. Then calculate uses this as a filter and computes a sales amount. And I'm iterating over the product brand computing the first sale date. I'm iterating over product brand because in my report, I already have the result. I have a 401 that is the value for a datum. So what I expect is that if I sort it order by brand, I expect to see the value of uh, a datum. Actually, what I see is a 2096, which is not 401. And if I go in my original report, you see that this is the entire value of sales amount. So it's likely my measure is not working and we need to understand why, what is happening. What is happening is that we have a problem with data lineage. Let's analyze the data lineage. My product and first date, despite containing a product key and a date, it, has not, it does not have the correct lineage because for the product key, it has a product key. But when I compute first sale, I use an expression. And as an expression, it does not have the correct lineage. It has a new lineage, which is created only for the column during the execution of a query. So it's not able to filter the model, but I can change that. What I can do is force the lineage of this variable. Let's call it product and first date with lineage, where I use three tiles. Uh, I change the lineage of this variable. Now I have two columns, so I need to provide the, the first column, which is a product key. And for the second column that is a date, I want it to be a date, 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 date. Now, three tiles returns the same result, but now the data type is the correct one. So I can use this variable now instead of the previous one. And if I run the code now, you see the result is different. 401, 969. Let's go back. We have 401969. So we have been able to compute uh, using data lineage uh, the same expression that was previously computed through SMX with uh, just a simpler scan because uh, that measure requires one scan of the sales table and another scan of the sales table. So it is much faster in uh, the execution and it will provide a better user experience. Now, as you have seen, Data lineage is important. It's easy to understand what it is. It's easy to understand when it is maintained. And it's also easy to force data lineage to what you need. The only tricky part of data lineage is uh, being able first to recognize that uh, a measure that is not computing the correct value is doing that because of a problem with data lineage. Once you understand that and once you figure out that uh, uh, data lineage is always maintained for column references and it's always broken whenever you use expressions, then you can use three tasks to force the data lineage that you need in your expressions. Enjoy DAX!